Dr. Liu presented a study in recurrent ovarian cancer looking at the combination of olaparib and sidereneb versus olaparib alone. Um, this was a small um, phase two randomized trial, um, but it was truly impressive. The doubling of the progression-free survival from nine months with olaparib to 17.7 .7 months with the combination. Um, this is important for this subset of patients. All of these patients had been pretreated and had received um, platinum um, containing uh, cytotoxic chemotherapy. And uh, often these patients have debilitating symptoms from ovarian cancer, like recurrent ascites, um, abdominal distension, weight loss. And so to have uh, such a robust improvement um, in symptoms and a robust improvement in progression-free survival uh, really gives these women a substantial um, and clinically meaningful quality of life benefit. With a combination of the two drugs, um, there was more toxicity as one would expect. Um, so there was more hypertension, more rash, more fatigue in the combination arm. But again, toxicities were manageable. Um, response rates were also uh, more than doubled with the, with the combination of both drugs. These results, I think, are compelling enough um, to the combination of two targeted agents um, in a refractory disease with progression-free survival at almost a year and a half, that this is going to go to a phase three um, concept, and I'm certainly very excited about this, but this is going from a, um, going from primarily just cytotoxic chemotherapy to oral uh, drugs, and it's, it, it, it's important. I don't think we've predicted which patients would benefit the most yet, um, and if, if we can find uh, particular biomarkers for the patients that would have the highest response rate, certainly that would be of interest.